I've only been alive for 28 years, so my time on this earth might not be as long as some of you that are watching this video, but I've never felt like there's a more important time for community than right now. And that's something that we're trying to build here is a community. It's a community of people that want to live together, a community of people that want to help each other, a community of people that want to make the lives for everyone around them easier and better and happier and more fulfilling, more peaceful. And even though there isn't a community of people living up on this land, there's a community of people in our lives that we're all actively trying to support one another and help one another. And if, for those of us that can bring peace, we need to have the strength to promote that for those that can't, for those that are in fear and for those that are living in fear. And with all you being a part of this community, coming on here, watching these videos, been watching us for the last three years, I just want to start this video with a little bit of this message and just hope that we can all help each other and those that need help can ask for it and those that can give it are open to giving it. And that's just how I want to start this video, so it's time to get this day started. So basically all the restaurants are closed in town right now except for takeout. So a lot of the employees here have been getting laid off or they've been getting their hours significantly reduced. So what we're trying to do is hire some of them. So the good news is Kaylee and I, we are really bad at finishing things. We get things like 90% of the way done and then all the tedious stuff we kind of just like, like oh, we'll do it later. So we're hiring a few people that had their hours reduced to come up and work on our land. So I just want to introduce you guys to our first, <laughs> our first ever employee, the first ever employee of the nomadic movement. Rodrigo. <laughs> so Rodrigo's gonna be helping us out up here. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? He's, he's dead back. You wanna go see him? Come here. Basically what we're gonna have him do is do all the stuff that we've been slacking on, like painting our buffs. <laughs> Look how excited! Hey. <laughs> Just for you. You got avocados for us? Oh. Right, avocados. Where'd you get these? So in the market. You're the best. Well, avocados are super in season right now. So. And so are mangoes. And so are mangoes. That's so we're favorite. very, very, very excited about that. All right, Rodrigo, here's your first mission. You have to fix this monstrosity, <laughs> this this disappointment. Well, m mostly Kaylee's disappointed because she really doesn't like the color. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color, but not for a house. Oh. So we got a new color in here. This is, Kaylee picked this one. I picked out this one. You haven't even seen it yet. Kaylee picked out this one. Look at Lola, she always thinks everything's first. Is this, is this for me? Is this, is this nummies for me? Oh boy, what is it? Much better. Wow. Much, much better. That's the color that you were looking for, huh? Yeah. It's still really close here. Like the color difference between that no, no. and that. But once you, it's, it is a lot different. This is more like green aquamarine. This is like a subtle baby blue. Baby blue like the sky. You ready to get painted? <laughs> so while Rodrigo is painting the bus, I'm coming back at the water pump. If you guys watched our last video, we're having some problems. And probably one of my favorite things about making YouTube videos about this is you guys can help us. So I just wanna say thank you to Kenneth. What he told us, this wasn't working. We couldn't get our pump to work. What he told us is we need to open up this valve. So I opened it because we need to bleed all the air out. Doesn't that make, ah. that makes a lot of sense. Feels like that air couldn't go anywhere. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Plug it in. This is a really good sign, you guys. Uh-oh. We have a leak. We have a few leaks. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. It's like leaking from every possible place it could leak from. So basically, there's leaks coming out of everywhere. And it's not even just the connections that we did. It's even these like prefabbed connections. Like right here, we're getting a ton of water. Mm -hmm. So we're taking the whole dang thing apart and starting over. I just really want to start using this water because we only have 25 gallons up here and it's been very, very difficult. crush it today thank you so much check out this, this look at this it. oh it's so much better so you can see this is the color that we had before 
let it adjust a little bit. So it's like an aquamarine. And now we got a beautiful. Exact same color. No, <laughs> baby blue sky. So much better. <laughs> so we ran back to our house real quick because we have a family that's moving in. So there's a family from South Africa that we're friends with. It's a family of eight. They needed a little bit of help, so we're letting them move into our house. And then we have to book it back up here because we have a curfew of five. So you can't, in Panama right now, you can't be out on the streets past 5 p.m. So then we booked it back up here, made it just in time to watch this beautiful sunset. But I think we gotta try something out first. What do you think, love? Are you ready to give this water pump a go or what? Oh, let's hope this is the last and final try. Well, it's not all done, but we figured if we could get this all good, to start, then we can move on to the sediment filters. So, I guess let's see. I guess let's see how it goes. Let's give it a go, baby. Is it building pressure? What's going on? You want the good news or the bad news? Okay, the bad news. The bad news is we still have one leak coming from right here. Oh. Dude, PVC, oh, and there's another leak. Remember when we checked this before, all of yeah. a sudden a leak just showed up here, oh. right at the tank. Damn. Good news? Good news? Look at the pressure gauge. It's holding pressure now. It's, it's at good. 40, okay. So, so, so that, and there's no leaks. So there's no leak. All these connections that were leaking before, no leaks. Even this one, no leaks. Damn. So, I wish we could use, I don't even think we could use PEX with this anyways, but I'm gonna, import a bunch of PEX when we can, because I'm gonna run everything to the bus in PEX. I'm not yeah. gonna even mess around with PVC. Yeah. I might be a little obsessed, but I came back out here because I wanted to get it all done. <laughs> so I hooked everything up. I just glued it all back together. I used a lot of glue because that's the only thing that I can think of that why it's not holding. No way. <laughs> Look at how sweet. Did you just lick the lights? Yeah. Say hi guys. Say hello to the People. Lola just likes watching the cows. She's like checking with the cows. She loves when the cows are over here. You know what's crazy? We'll have to we'll have to get this on camera sometime, but I swear to God, it's like clockwork. Every single night when the sun is setting. Yeah. That's the time where she's just sitting somewhere in the yard and she's literally just watching staring. the sunset. She's watching the sunset. It's official. We're officially on quarantine. I know we said we didn't wanna talk about this at all, but I think it's important that we update you guys on what's going on because what's going into effect tomorrow is going to completely change our lives and our videos. So we need to update you guys on what the heck's going on. And you guys saw us moving that family in earlier. So half the family's in the house with this stuff and the other half is an hour and a half away. And right now we just found out we're going to co total quarantine. So our whole day tomorrow is gonna be spent trying to get answers. So we'll give you guys some updates along the way. We're gonna go and try and talk to the police mm -hmm. and see if we can get the family back together. That's all that matters, whether it's here in Boguete or there in Volcan. And if you guys are wondering what that means, total <laughs> quarantine, because I know that's a kind of a different meaning in every country, in every state and province. What that means for Panama is that depending on the last number of either your passport or your cedula, they call it, which is your residency here, um, you have a two hour window of time that you can go out and do your grocery shopping, do your essential shopping. Other than that, you need to be in your house, on your land, whatever, wherever it is that you call home for the rest of the time. So we're gonna be spending our, day, our days working, but I wanna end the day, hopefully on a good note. Come on, baby. We gotta, we gotta fill up our dang water tank in the bus. So we're gonna try to give this thing a go. Come on. For the- Give me a break. 12th, 13th, One 14th, One time, baby. 14th time. Come on. <laughs> we're gonna go and test it out. We did it. We did? Look, 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 look. What? Look, look, look. I just let it run for about 10 minutes. And everything is closed right now. And we have pressure. So a big reason why I want to do this is now, watch, we can just turn this on and fill up our bus by turning this hose. I think it's time for us to confess. What do we confess in? We have to come clean. No, we can't. We have to. No, we can't. <laughs> you guys. No, we can't. We started watching this show. And it's the worst show that I've ever watched in my life. But we can't stop watching. It's called Love is Blind. And I'm embarrassed to even tell you that we're going to watch it right now. <laughs>
But I just want to give you guys a little travel hack for those of you that like to watch TV shows, stream shows, Netflix or on HBO or whatever. Um, when you travel, you've probably experienced this when you try to go on HBO. I'll show you right now because I'm in Panama. So when I take my phone and I go on HBO, I get this message. It says, not in service area. It's because I'm not in the United States or certain US territories. But what you can do is you can use a VPN and we use Surfshark. You guys know Surfshark, I think has sponsored six of our videos now. So we just click here and open the Surfshark app. And what you can do is you can connect over there 60 plus locations. So you click on locations, go to United States. And what you're doing is you're connecting to a server in the United States. So then uh, HBO thinks you're in the United States. So when you travel, you can watch any show. Watch, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click try again. And you'll see, see that? Works. So there's other things too, like there's things that you can't do in the United States. Like the show that I like to watch is Vikings. So in the United States, you can't download Vikings, but in Panama you can. Wait, so, why? I don't know. So when I went you back can't home, watch Vikings <clears throat> back home. No, when I went back home, I had all of Vikings downloaded, and then when I pulled it up, couldn't download, couldn't play any of the downloads. So then, did you put the so VPN I for Panama? Connected to Panama, and what? it worked like that. So connecting to a VPN not only keeps you secure, keeps you safe, keeps all your private information safe. It also allows you to access all your TV shows while you're traveling. If if you guys want to try out Surfshark, they have a great deal. So they're going to give you guys 83% off and your first one for free. Damn, that so, is a good deal. So there's a link and a discount code in the description. We're gonna kick back with Lola. She is, might be the sweetest chilling. thing ever. Straight up chilling. Look at that. <laughs> and we're gonna call it a night. So we'll see you guys bright and early for sunrise. Running the water pump so much yesterday, hands and power tools off the bus, cursed our batteries. So I'm trying to bring this generator up there, bring it all the way up this stupid hill to the bus. So I can plug the inverter in and get a good charge. There it is, all hooked up, all plugged in. I should have been monitoring it more, but with everything going on, I've just been a little distracted. Uh, I'm going into town right now, so now is my two hours when I can leave. My time is between 7.30 and 10.30, and there's the clock right there. No, 7.30 and 9.30. There's a the clock right there, 7.41. So the time that I could go out is 7.30 in the morning. So I left as soon as I could, I left right at 7.30, started driving down to town, and again, just wanted to try and help this family and with just give him like a plan of action, go through a plan of action with him. So we're trying to get them all here to Boguete. And then I came back up to the land and just decided there was nothing else to do. There's really nothing else to do but just to get to work yeah. and just do stuff to just keep staying productive. So I got working on the platform. We have four more pieces of metal and we finished that up. We decided to come check out this tree that we just found behind our property. And this thing has to be like a thousand years old. It's so big. And the coolest thing is that there's like the original tree that's inside and then this whole tree is like wrapped around the whole other tree. Of the tree. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like one tree growing around another tree. Yeah, it's crazy. They just texted me. What happened? What happened? What happened? We're gonna call. Oh no. Andre, you guys made it to Bogete, okay? Yeah, we did. No oh, thank God! Well, let, let, let oh. us be the first. Let us be the first ones to tell you, welcome to Bogete. Yay. <laughs> Woo. We're happy you guys are in nice and safe, and uh, welcome home. Welcome home. Have a nice, relaxing night. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Dude, you scared me. I thought you were coming up to tell me they got like stopped or detained or something. <sighs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> that just let all the pressure off. We got our friends into our, our old house safe. And we're officially making the bus our house. This is where... It's been home pretty much for the last two weeks, so... Yeah. Nothing's really gonna change. And now we got 600 gallons of water, so that's a nice... Exactly. ...increase in our life. Exactly. And we're gonna be spending a whole lot of time, just me and you, Listen, buddy. we lived in this bus for three years. There's nothing <laughs> like it. I don't think there's anything left to do, but just uh, sit back, relax, 
taking the sunset. Use this time to be grateful and focus on what we have and um, that we're healthy, that we're safe, that we're together and make the best of it. So, so this is where we're going to leave you guys. We'll leave you with this little sunset. We're going outside to watch it right now. We hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do and we're just sending our love your way. We love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay healthy. Most importantly, stay calm. And we'll talk to you guys real soon. See you next time. Thank you.